I know you've heard this before, but I need to remind you that if you're appreciative of this show and the fact that we have guests and views which you will not find on mainstream news, then press PayPal because we need your money to keep on going and keep on the air, especially this show right now with Michael Diamond coming up because I want to talk to you, Michael, about Wendy Mesley. And everybody knows her as being on the CBC for 40 years, smart, intelligent, dedicated woman. She was on a private conversation with some people. She mentioned, in a quote, the N-word, apologized afterwards. It's not meant as a slur. She was quoting it. And now she got fired by the CBC brass. And, and it was relevant to the conversation they were having about a story for her show. So yes. she was doing a like story a about anti-hate. She had Sunday morning. It was a she, good show. She was doing it, and they, with who they replaced her with, it's, it's not good for uh, viewers, it's not good for taxpayers either. But uh, she, was, she was doing a, a, a meeting about her show and quoted a word that was relevant to the story, and it's an offensive word, but she wasn't using it uh, from hate. It's not she, a slur. She was, she was not using it as a slur. It is a slur, but that's not how she was using it. And uh, she, she apologized. She felt bad. And CBC forced her to do some sensitivity training. And, and then a year later, she's, uh, she is gone. So in essence, she got the bums rush out the door. This is a government-funded agency. Are we so politically correct, right down to the bureaucrats running the CBC, that they can't understand that the world goes on? Well, when you're so politically correct and you're a news agency, but you don't allow your news team to have production meetings where they actually use a word that's relevant to the story, why are you making news anymore? Because like, how, 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 like, it just, uh, my mind can't even process what but, occurred but we here. Know, but we know what the CBC News is like. It's milk toast. It's, it's the lowest common denominator. They won't say anything that they think is going to offend anybody. Well, and, and clearly, you know, that's a message they want their uh, on-air talent to know, to not, to not challenge, to not sta uh, challenge the status quo, to not offend people. The news should be offensive. You know, that word shouldn't be used. Uh, Correct. In an offensive way, but the news, you know, uh, opinion should be offensive. News, news should offend people. To get people. people to think. Well, to get people to think, absolutely. That's, that's the role of the news. I think if you look, though, at this particular case with Wendy Mesley, uh, her actions after are a, um, a, a manual to folks out there who might find themselves in a semi similar situation of not what, what not to do. Because she trusted the CBC, her longtime employer, to actually have a fair process and see this through in a way that would get her back. They never had her best interest at heart. They wanted to, they clearly wanted to get rid of her and, victim, and blame her and, and scapegoat her for the scapegoat. So stand say, up for are, yourself. We are so good, we're getting rid of one of our stars who's been with us for years and years and years, just to show how good we are, how woke we are. Precisely, and she trusted them and allowed this void of conversation to go on where she wasn't present. You need to defend yourselves from these accusations. I mean, she should be rehired, and the people who forced her out should be out on the unemployment well, line. Well, look, CBC News should be disbanded, but if there is a CBC News, someone like Wendy Mesley should probably work there. Michael Diamond, insightful as always. Hey, pal, three minutes. Thank you very much. Our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, recently stood up in the House of Commons and prefaced his remarks by saying, and we will only work from the facts, quote, unquote, and then proceeded to lie by saying Britain was in a horrible, horrible third wave, trying to show, in fact, that Canada was not the worst in the world. Britain, though, had vaccines. Canada did not. And this was not reported in the mainstream Canadian media, the media paid for by Justin Trudeau, all of which I'm telling you is that it's important to have this three-minute interview. Please subscribe, ask your friends to subscribe, and press that PayPal thing so we can continue on to bring you the news you otherwise might not know.